The classification of mammals is based on distinct reproductive methods, anatomical features, and ecological roles. The three main groups are monotremes, marsupials, and placental mammals. Monotremes. Platypus and echidna are examples of monotremes. Monotremes are distinguished by their rare ability to lay eggs instead of giving birth to a live young, connecting them to the evolutionary ancestors of mammals. They possess mammary glands but lack nipples. Instead, milk is secreted through openings in the skin for their young to lap up. Monotremes are known for their primitive reproductive traits and a cloaca, a single opening for excretion and reproduction. Marsupials. Kangaroo, koala and opossum are examples of marsupials. Marsupials give birth to relatively undeveloped live young, which then crawl into a pouch on the mother's abdomen to continue their development. This pouch provides a protective environment for the immature offspring. Look at the little one get in to secure himself. Marsupials exhibit a bifurcated reproductive system, and their reproductive strategy is an adaptation to a wide range of ecological niches. Placentals. Humans, dogs, cats, elephants, whales and horses are examples of placental mammals. Placental mammals are characterized by the presence of a placenta, an organ that develops during pregnancy and allows for the exchange of nutrients and waste between the mother and the developing embryos. This enables a longer gestation period and more advanced development of the offspring before birth. Placental mammals exhibit a highly varied range of ecological adaptations, reproductive strategies, and anatomical features, making them the dominant group in many terrestrial environments. This classification system highlights the remarkable diversity within the mammalian class, showcasing how different reproductive strategies and adaptations have evolved in response to various environmental pressures and ecological niches. Each group represents a unique chapter in the evolutionary story of mammals, contributing to their success and adaptability in diverse ecosystems worldwide. If you like this, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos.